Clute is a 1971 crime thriller directed by Alan Pacula and starring Jane Fonda, Donald Sutherland, and Roy Scheider. Detective John Clute is hired to investigate the disappearance of Tom Grunneman, who was connected with the deaths of two New York prostitutes. The only clues to Grunneman's disappearance are letters he sent to a New York call girl named Bree Daniels, who also had contact with the man responsible for murdering the prostitutes connected with Grunemann's disappearance. Bree is an aspiring actress who also suffers from insomnia because of a beating a John gave her a couple of years ago. She is also an expert at catering to men's darkest fantasies. Not until she meets Clute does she realize that she also has a dark side, and the closer Clute gets to her, the blurrier the line between Bree and Peter Cable, the murderer, becomes. Bree Daniels, like Peter Cable, is an actor, hiding her true self behind a fabricated image. Why Bree Daniels wants to be an actress? To protect herself from feeling and being hurt. She's insecure with who she really is. Having power over others' feelings and perceptions makes her feel powerful. She can't remember the John that attacked her because she doesn't want to experience or feel the incident again. Acting is a metaphor of how she distances her emotions in relationships with men. He sees who she really is without her makeup and phony confidence. He sees her afraid, vulnerable, weak, and insecure. She can't get an acting job because she shuts down her emotions when others, and others are in control. But she is a great actress when she is in control of the situations, such as when she caters to the fantasies of her giants. Peter Cable. Like Brie, Peter is also an actor who hides behind a make-believe image. This is why the film reveals him as the killer early on, and also why he doesn't become a suspect until the end of the film. As a business executive, Cable is rational, professional, and stable. Most of all, his decent image doesn't match that of a maniac killing prostitutes. Underneath all the numbness, Brie is a human being, and whenever she shows this side of herself, she throws up a wall between her and Clute. This explains why she returns to Frank, who represents a barrier of protection between her feelings and those who can potentially hurt her. This also explains why she uses heroin to hide her feelings. Brie is frightened by the feelings Clute brings out of her weaknesses she is used to exposing in her clients. Bree tells her therapist that she becomes angry at Clute for making her feel. This is why she stabs Clute with the scissors. Cable's anger comes out the same way. At the end of the film, he accuses Bree and the other whores of exposing his fantasies and weaknesses. And this is a quote, Something he told her at the end. I was never fully aware of mine, meaning his moral weaknesses, until you brought them out. That's what, this is what he tells Bree at the end of the film. Bree gets Cable to free his moral inhibitions and brings out his murderous tendencies. She does this by pretending that she cares about him the way she pretends to care about the, com about the commuter in the hotel. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that, that uh, encounter with that commuter. She asks that commuter what he wants and he whispered it, whispers it in her ear, too shy to say it out loud. We never get to know what he wants, but she says with a smile, that sounds fantastic. But when she stops to ask him for payment up front, the commuter's face changes to disappointment because he knows that Bree is only acting. 
Clue gets Bree to reveal her real self by simply caring for her. She needed some place to sleep, and he let her sleep at his place. He protects her. He accepts her despite her being a prostitute. He doesn't judge her. He helps her kick her drug habit. He doesn't leave her when she insults him and leaves him to run back to Frank twice. In real life, people sometimes become violent when they find out that their partner or spouse is unfaithful. The person who opened themselves up feels deceived, tricked into believing something false. This is also an analogy explaining Peter Cable's actions and Bree's hostility towards Clute. Bree got Cable to show his dark side to her even though she cared nothing for him. On the other hand, Clute, Clute gets Bree to open up, but unlike her, his concern and feelings are real, and in her world, real concern is just part of the hustle. Having, having gotten by by just acting, Bree has no one she can talk to and be herself with. Neither her paid therapist nor her favorite John are available when she really needs them. In the end, it is Clute who saves her from Peter Cable. Thanks for watching this video and my presentation of Alan Pacula's great film starring Jane Fonda and Donald Sutherland, Clute. I would appreciate it if you would leave a comment or if you would give me a like. I would also appreciate it if you would follow the link in the description to my blog where I talk more about films such as this uh, film that I just discussed. Again, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video, and I will see you again soon.